Ladies and gentlemen, this feels like Christmas. We have so much tech to unbox today. A lot of custom PCs coming up. I want to take you along for the ride. Let's get unboxing. If you have a big, massive, wallet in your pocket, then it might be time to upgrade with today's video sponsor, The Ridge. This is a wallet like no other. I love the compactness. Not only do the designs look sick, each wallet is made from durable materials, meaning there is a lifetime warranty. Take it for a test drive for 45 days. If you don't like it, you can get a full refund. My favorite design has to be North Shore. Go get yourself 10% off using code IFR at ridge.com forward slash IFR. I mean, what do you have to lose? It's a money back guarantee. I'll leave those links down below. Well guys, it feels absolutely fantastic to be back doing an unboxing video, something a bit different than just the regular PC builds because we want to try some new things on the channel. And I know what you're thinking guys, I apologize. I do need an unboxing knife, but we have a package from a company called L Lumi, Lumi Kenka. Let's have a look and see what is actually inside. Oh, this is from, this is Aorus. What do we have here? So this is the first box inside. It's a, it's one of their new power suppliers, an 850 watt ultra durable gold 850 watt. So I guess we're gonna be doing a build with one of their newer power supplies. These new power supplies, apparently they don't have the same issues as the older exploding ones. I'd never put that in a build. <laughs> now th this is a really good box for the first unboxing. Check that out. We have none other than the Aorus RTX 3090 Ti Extreme. This is actually the all-in-one cooled version. Let's let's go ahead and take a look at this. Ooh, this is exciting. It's even got traces of gold on it. Look at that. It's actually a lot smaller than you, the other cards, you know, like every single other card, it's a brick at the moment, but this is awesome. Three display ports, one HDMI. The power connector is one of those uh, weird 12 pins. I don't like the 12 pin power connection, but you know what, it's a 3090 Ti. We can't complain about that. We'll go ahead and we'll use this in a build pretty soon. Let, let me know if you want to see this in a build. It's got gold accents on this and maybe a black and gold build. So the next package is from a company called x -Riart. I'm I have no idea what that is, so let's go ahead and take a look on the inside and figure out what we're dealing with here. x -Riart. it's a thinner package. Really, it's boxed really nice. Oh, that is, that's, <laughs> that's amazing. Jeez, that brings back so many memories. It's actually the same color as the one that I had as well. I had a, a Game Boy color back in the day and I actually ended up giving all, all my Game Boy stuff to the next door neighbor because I had kind of outgrown it a bit. They're actually worth a bit of money these days and I love this art. Hang on, let's try and take this off. Okay, that's not gonna peel well, but this would look super nice in a setup. Okay, that's, we'll get it on, we'll get it all done pretty soon, but it, essentially it's a picture frame. You can actually hang it in a setup, which is really cool. It's got pretty much all of the insides of what the Game Boy Color used to have. Has kind of like a bit of a diagram with how all of the parts go together, which is super sick to see some of the old technology and how it all worked once upon a time. I actually might see if I can get a second one so I can get a bit of symmetry in the setup. And I believe they actually do things like old phones as well, all laid out in a diagram. I'll leave a link down below, guys, if you wanna check it out any further. Onto the third package in no particular order. I'm not exactly sure who this one's for. It kind of looks like I've removed the label, but I'm pretty sure that this type of taping is usually from Corsair. So we'll see what they have to uh, offer here in this box. Really well taped though, <laughs> struggling to get through it. Okay, so this is a, it's the XG7. Oh, so we've got a build coming up with Corsair. It's actually gonna be next week and we needed this uh, GPU block. I actually needed it a couple of days ago. That that build was meant to be this weekend, but now it's been delayed. So we've got this big box for this one GPU thing. They really pack it well, so thank you very much, Corsair. Wow, this box looks like it's being used by... Is that hair? Ugh. As I was saying, this box looks like it's been used a bunch of times. Hopefully there's something good in it. I have no idea who it's from. Uh, doesn't have any label on it. So let's go ahead and uh, see. <laughs> oh, 
Whoa, okay. All right, here we go. We have a build coming up with Asus. I mean, an RTX 3080 Strix, that is amazing, but you wait for it. Oh, wow, that's heavy. We have none other than the Asus Maximus Z690 Glacial Motherboard. Oh, I can't wait. So we've got an RTX 3080 system with a Glacial Motherboard. There's something about the Glacial Series motherboards that really, really gets me excited. So let's take a look. Let's have a look. So that goes that way. Oh, wow. Ooh, is that safe for YouTube? The motherboard without the cover on it? That's amazing. Stay tuned, guys. Next week, you guys will see this in a build. Okay, enough of looking. Let's get this packed up. We've got plenty more boxes to go. This is only the start of what's to come. This is a very long package, Corsair. The only thing that I could think of that would be in here would be tube. I don't know why you need such a big box for a couple tubes for a build. Wow, okay. <laughs> It's just full of tubes, guys. Have I made a mistake in an order? There's so many tubes in here. Like, I, I must have cleared out all of Corsair's inventory. Oh, okay, we got fans, radiators. I was looking for these the whole time. We got a leak tester, okay. So I have everything here for next week's build. So we got two 360 millimeter radiators, some Corsair fans. Uh, these are the QL120s in black. We're gonna have plenty, plenty of tubes to go around for future builds. And we also got one of their new leak testers. We'll have to put that to use in the build as well and test it out. Now to get this all cleaned up. So this next package looks to be from Thermaltake. Let's go ahead and uh, see what's inside of this. I do have a couple of thermal tape cases that arrived, so it could be part of those builds. We've got a bunch of things in here. Now, first things, let's just create a bit more room here. Okay, so we've got a bunch of thermal take uh, ring quad fans. Can never <laughs> have enough fans. How about what we'll do is we will put a few of these packs of fans in a giveaway pool on our Discord server. So if you wanna win some fans for your PC, go and join our Discord server and we'll see if we can put something in the announcements section. We've also got the Thermal Take Tough Power TF 1550 watt power supply. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this power supply, but if we ever get, maybe I could do some SLI 3090s in a system. Just, just just, cause we can. All right, let's get this all cleaned up. So I've ripped the label off this box. I don't know who this one is from. By the way, guys, like, as I said, if any of you know of a good unboxing knife, please leave it in the comments below. Okay, it looks like we got a bunch of stuff from EK Water Blocks, and in particular, a few GPU blocks. We've got some back plates. We've got the EK Quantum Kinetic uh, unit. So that's a pump res combo which is really good because I needed a few of the 80 millimeter versions. Lots more Vector uh, Velocity 2 blocks. That's because that's their new line of CPU blocks and we wanted to get a few of them on hand as well. Some more GPU blocks. So we just got a bunch of EK goodies. I guess it was just to, so we could keep up with the product range that they have. So these are gonna look real nice and we're gonna be doing a system very soon with this new stuff. Okay. Next box. We got some more thermal take power supplies. Let's get these out of the box. More 1550 watt. 1500 watt power supplies, two of them. I don't even remember what I got these for. I think normally when I'm asked to make a list for PC builds with Thermaltake, I normally just put the highest wattage power supplies on there anyway, just to make sure that I'm covered with everything. Like if I wanted to put 2390s into a system, plenty of juice in these power supplies. So that's probably why I ordered that bigger wattage, but let's move on. All right, next package. Let's see what's in this one. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, jeez. We got a 1200 watt power supply. Moving on. Okay, next package. Let's just hope this one has not power supplies anymore. I know we've got some really exciting boxes coming up, so I can't wait to uh, get them. Um, you've gotta be kidding me. Are you pulling a practical joke on me, Michael? Guys, I. <laughs> I'm lost for words here. 
Honestly, uh, how about we add two power supplies into the prize pool on Discord? Go and check the announcements channel. They will be up very soon. Go and join the Discord. We'll see you all over there. I don't know. <laughs> okay, this one is exciting. I can actually see through the gap here at what this is. So we've actually teamed up with Asus for a pro art setup. So we actually have their pro art creator Wi-Fi motherboard. We've also got some DDR5 RAM, got a Corsair MP600 Pro, and we also have an RTX 3080 Tough Gaming GPU. Hope I didn't break that. Actually, I've already unboxed all of the other parts. Let me go grab them quickly and I'll show you what this build is gonna look like. For the CPU, we've got the i9-12900. We've also got the Ryujin 2 360 CPU cooler. And we've also got the brand new ROG Thor 1000 watt power supply. Uh, gotta be one of the best looking power supplies on the market in my opinion. And we've also got a Windows DVD. <laughs> Who uses these anymore? Anyway, uh, so this is a build that's coming up very soon. It's actually gonna be a full setup. We've got a pro art monitor as well. So stay tuned for that. Okay, someone must think that our house is really dirty. Okay, that's a fair point. But we have another vacuum cleaner here. This is the Ecovax, what's this one called? The Ecovax D-Bot X1 Turbo. Let's go ahead and give this an unboxing and we'll see what it can do and what is inside. Actually, this will be perfect for our brand new studio which is currently being built. Can't wait to show you guys. I need more space. Okay, so this seems to be the charging station and I guess where it collects water and empties all of the dust out. So let's set that to the side for the time being and we'll check out the actual vacuum inside this box. Looks like we've got a couple of uh, mopping pads under here. Some sort of user manual. The actual sweepers for all of the dust and stuff on the ground. Char the power cable. Oh wow, this vacuum actually has a bit of weight on it. Packaged very well though. Oh, I like the color of it. There we go, that's the actual vacuum itself. Let's go ahead, let's get it set up. Let me uh, do a bit of testing on it to see how it all works and we'll be right back. The setup process is simple. Download the Ecovacs app and connect the vacuum to the Wi-Fi. The vacuum has voice assistant. All you have to do is say, okay, Eco, followed by the commands that you're after. Ecovax also has mapping features and tech that are used in self-driving cars. These can map out your home and also give you a 3D render. The vacuum can also mop with dual mops spinning at 180 RPM. And the vacuum also recognizes where there is carpet and it'll stay away from that area when mopping mode is engaged. The home base contains two large tanks, one which will clean, dry and refill whereas the other one will connect that nasty, dirty water. The vacuum also has auto avoidance technology where it recognizes common household items such as cables or shoes, and it'll automatically avoid them. There is also a camera mode built into the app so you can see what the vacuum sees. We can actually go and check on our pets when we're away and we can talk to them. I guess it's kind of like an indoor security camera. The vacuum will automatically detect edges so there is no worries about it falling downstairs. Lastly, we have the Echo Voice Control which can completely control the vacuum without the need of your smartphone. You can actually label your rooms in the app and then tell your vacuum to go and clean that room if it needs a good clean. It's a pretty neat piece of tech. It's saved us time every day so we can actually spend that time doing something else while it is cleaning for us. I'll leave a link down below if you want to check out the Ecovacs D-Bot X1 Turbo any further. What do we have in here? Looks like we have some more Thermaltake products. So we got some fittings. We've got some of their 
tough ram. So some of the new uh, white tough ram as well. Let's actually take that out of the packaging so you guys can see it a bit better. Bunch of liquid inside. So I think this is just stocking up items. So we got some of their new PR12 D5 Plus reservoirs. I've actually got four of them as well so that we can have some stock on hand for when we want to use multiple reservoirs in some builds. And especially if we've already got one build done with these reservoirs, I like to have some left over in case next week we want to use them again. And that is pretty much it. I, boy, am I glad they're not power supplies. We got plenty of them. Corsair, Corsair, Corsair. What have you blessed us with on this fine day? I know we've got some builds with Corsair coming up. So if it's what I think it is, this is gonna be super exciting because we are planning none other than an all gold and black custom water-cooled build in the Corsair 5000T. Yes, it is exactly what I thought it was. We got a bunch of gold Corsair fittings and a random CPU block. I'm a wreck. All jokes aside, this is the Corsair XC7 Pro CPU block. It is a copper block, and this is for the new LGA 1700 socket, but it's also backwards compatible, so you can have no issues with one of these new blocks from Corsair. I was planning on using this in next week's build, but if I'm using the Asus Glacial, there's gonna be no need for this. So we're sticking in another build coming up. Okay, another package from Thermaltake. No power supplies, I hope. So we've got actually three of their new CLD 240 radiators and I like to stock up on new products for when I'm doing a build for that particular company. So the CLD 240s, how thick are these ones? 40 millimeters. They also have five ports on them, on each. So that's probably why I got it because they've probably got one up the top and then four up there as well. So five ports in total, let's go ahead continue unboxing. Bit of a smaller box this time. Let's see what's inside of this. Doesn't have a label on it, so I don't know who this is from. It's got some weird writing on the front. Okay, I know what this is for. Maybe I could go grab the rest of the parts actually. So we've got a few fans from a company called Azza. They make a couple of cool cases, so we've actually requested quite a few fans to go in these builds. Let me go get the cases for you and I'll be right back. So here they are, we have the Azza cast and the Azza Regis. They're both unique cases and that's kind of why we wanted to do a build with them. And so we were able to get some Azza fans to go with them. Let me know which one you guys think you'll like better out of the Azza cast and the Azza Regis. Both unique, let us know in the comments. Okay, this next package is from a company I've never heard of before. I think it's pronounced Caesar or, or Scissor or Scissors. I have no idea. But uh, let's go ahead and see what is actually inside. Looks like a black, a box within a box. Oh wow, that packaging is super nice. I still have no idea what it is, but looks really good. <laughs> so this looks like a bit of a mouse pad, I guess. It's kind of really thin for a mouse pad though. It doesn't have braided edges. USB cable, finger cots for book scanning. Uh, this is the power cable. Uh, side lights, so some type of light, I guess. What is this? Kind of looks like a um, futuristic headphone stand or something. It's got like a picture of a camera on it. Oh, it's a scanner. Okay. I think I understand how it works now. So you put the mouse pad right there and it looks like it scans a book or like some piece of text. Let's go ahead. Let's do a bit of research on this and we'll see how it works and I'll show you guys an example. Okay. So this model is called the ET18 Pro. Now you can scan just about anything, a magazine, a book, piece of paper, even those uni books, perhaps you don't need to spend any money, just borrow it from the library, get all you need from your uni work and save yourself a bit of extra money. So the finger cots come in handy for book scanning because it helps to keep the book open. The top screen helps for a visual placement of the book to make sure you've got it correct. The scanner is self-adjusting. It will account for any curves or any edges out of place. All you have to do is hit the photo button and it'll take a scan. Now you can do this by pressing the photo button on the scanner itself or it has an individual extension for a photo button as well to make things a little easier. Now if that doesn't work 
it even comes with a foot pedal to make things even easier for the user. Now the scanner can connect to your smartphone or to the PC. Once you have taken your scan, it may take a couple of minutes to load on the mobile app, but here you can see we have a flat image of the book. What you can do from here is you can convert the image to text. Yes, this means you can actually edit all of the words. As I said, any of you uni students out there paying so much for all of your books, Seriously, this machine will save you so much money. The scanner comes with different brightness settings for the lights, so you can actually completely turn them off as well. And the side lights are actually completely removable. So guys, Michael was able to secure one of these for a giveaway, so we'll see you all over on our Discord server. Keep an eye out on the announcements channel. Okay, so I think this one is our smallest package of all of the boxes. Let's go ahead and see what is inside. It actually has the Corsair tape on it. Well, I'm pretty sure it's the Corsair tape. It looks very similar. Let's go ahead and see what is inside of this. Oh, wow, okay. I've been waiting for these for a while. This is actually called the Deeper Connect Pico. And our good friend Michael has actually organized this because it's a decentralized VPN. Let's actually show you how it looks. So not only is it a decentralized VPN, it's also a lifetime free VPN. It's also got an ad blocker integrated into it. It can like block YouTube ads and things like that, but uh, you know. I don't know if I'm for that, just because that is our job, but it is what it is. <laughs> and it also has enterprise grade cyber security. So there's three different modes you can set up the Pico. The first one is the wired Pico setup. So that's where you've got your modem, then you've got the cable, You've got the actual Pico itself, you've got another cable, and then your router. And then obviously from the router you go to your PC and things like that. Mode number two is called wireless Pico setup. So you'd go from your router using a cable into the Pico, and then you can go wirelessly from the Pico to your PC or devices. But we are gonna try Wi-Fi mode number three, which is wireless relay mode. Let me show you how to set it up. First step is to plug the power into the Pico. It will flash blue for a minute and then change to red when it's ready. The deeper Wi-Fi will then show on your device. Connect to it with the information provided. Go to your browser and type the numbers provided. Log into the console with the provided name and password. In the DPN tab, you can connect to loads of regions depending on what you're after. There are also loads of routing options, but I personally do not understand a lot about this, so I never use it. This is the security section where you can view what has been blocked and customize it. As you can see, it's already blocked an ad for us. If you want to go more in depth you can go into the ad filter section and follow the guide on how to block YouTube ads. So there you have it guys that is the Pico decentralized lifetime free VPN. It has enterprise grade cyber security and a built-in ad blocker. Now personally when I'm using a VPN I usually use it if I want to watch shows that are maybe not available in my region and I'll just connect to another region and it becomes available. For me I'd personally never disable YouTube ads just because Obviously that's how we pay the bills, but it can disable all those unwanted ads. So guys, let me know what you think about this product. I'll leave a link down below. And that's a wrap up, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed. We've got some pretty exciting projects on the way. Let us know what your favorite project is gonna be, and we'll see you all in the next one.